Closed captioning is brought to you by Insect Defend Patch. Deep free protection from biting insects. <laughs> you know, the action is so exciting here at Suns, especially when you get into the sockeye salmon. You know, last night for dinner, Let's come on your side here, Bob. Okay. we had a beautiful yeah. fillet of sockeye that was uh, freshly caught a couple days ago. So it makes you appreciate how good these fish are for eating, but also it's so nice to enjoy the fresh fish and seafood at Suns every evening. Barbara, that's a beautiful fish. I'm just going to go over you, hon, okay. to this other side of the boat. Yep. You know, this is so neat. These fish take you all over. When they come on top, they're like a little stick of dynamite. Um, and they're really hard to hold on. Usually the landing ratio is really low. You'll get three, four of these sockeye on. You can see why, look at this fish. He's just going berserk on the surface. He's rolled up in that line and he was doing cartwheels. See if I can get him on top again. Look, look how erratic they are. You can just see it. That flash is going all over the place. Look at this, just wild. Left, right, That's left, right. a nice right. one, hey? Yep. I'm going to try guy. to get him right down uh, the side for you, Jeff. Okay, wherever you get him, I'll yeah, scoop him up. Very little control because of the wind and the tide in here. So I'll try to get him a little closer, maybe off the back. That'll be good for you. If, yeah. uh, maybe not. Okay, see if I can keep him up. Bring Almost. him right in for you. Oh, there we got him. Oh, good. good one. Man, tough to Ooh. control them. Look at this was gorgeous a bouncer. fish. Look at what a beautiful fish they are. You know, they don't have the size of the Chinooks or King Salmon, but look at, they're so brilliant. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold them up before we put them in the box. There, look at that. Prime sockeye salmon, and they're so plentiful here. If you come in August, you can get all kinds of them. They fight so hard, they're scrappers. And we're using serious um, salmon trolling outfits, and they still fight really hard. And not only that, but these are gonna be great eating. Just like last night, remember, Bart? Yes, the delicious it was awesome. sockeye that we yeah. had? You know, one thing you enjoy when you come to Suns is fresh seafood, like Dungeness crab, and they had some delicious oysters that they got from, I think, the North Shore. And then, of course, the different species of salmon. So that just adds to every day when you're fishing out here at Sun's Lodge. You know, you've heard of shore lunches and uh, having your pack lunch on the water. Well, here at Sun's Lodge, they have a floating lunch and it's being served off the burger boat. That's what's in the background. This is Chef Paul, who does all the gourmet meals back at the lodge. And he's with Jim, who's the burger boat operator. And you can see that they've actually got hot burgers. You can see the hot dogs and burgers there. Beautiful Greek salad. Everything made to order right here on the Pacific Ocean. Now, on some of the days, they also do the Sun's Bistro, which is a shore lunch, but it's not like our shore lunch back home. There's no frying of fish fillets. We actually have different um, seafood, like uh, Dungeness crab, and sometimes uh, chicken breast, you know, and all this stuff, cordon bleu. Uh, just wonderful, beautiful experience. So besides the great fishing, the accommodations, the staff here at Suns, you also get a floating lunch, it comes to you. All right, Barbara. You know, it's nice, we were out a little bit farther. We were getting some Chinook salmon, but the waves were so Oh, here's big. another one, guys. I've oh, got another one on. It. Yeah, you're gonna grab okay. the Double rod. header. Yep. Hold yours on, Barb. Okay. Okay, Barb. Oh, Barb, yours just threw the hook. That's okay. Hopefully we got this one on. So what we're targeting now is some really good eating size fish. Okay. This so is... we're going for sockeye or pinks. So what I'm gonna do here is just uh, bite this. You got rods all over the place. This is when you're trolling, you know, you got to keep the boat moving. And I can hold that Jeff if you want. Jeff has been doing a great job controlling the boat. <laughs> so this isn't a huge fish, but hopefully it's a nice cedar and it'll stay on. Yeah, just hold that there. Oh, across the surface, beautiful. It's so bright. Ah. Try to yeah, get that looks like closer. a nice sock I got there, Shallow. Yes. Look at, look at, nice jumps, beautiful. I love how slick they look. Nice and easy, and in the net. Perfect, great net job, yeah. Okay. That is a good size fish. Okay. I thought most of them were gonna be like four, four or five pounds. That one's That's a little okay. bit bigger. 
Yeah, we got some really nice sockeye when they're in. That's Beautiful. the beauty. Yeah. We'll get it in and then we'll it up so everybody can see it. Gorgeous fish. You can okay, see how bright is. they are. They're just so uh, silver. Good. Old fill, buddy. And I'm going to get my glove on in one sec. So I'm just going to. There we go. The hooks yeah. fell out just like that. Perfect. I'm going to step behind you here. And you know, these fish are so hard to hold on to. You can see I'm actually switching gloves from my fishing glove to the famous Normark fillet glove. Barb, aren't they beautiful? They are. This is a nice male. He's uh, nice and thick. And I'm going to hold them up so you can appreciate how colorful he looks. You can see how much energy they have. They just flop and flop and flop. Now, before I cover the tail, look at for identity wise, one of the first things I look at when you get the fish in the boat is the tail. And you can see this one literally has no spots. So that's one of the identifying features. The other is the scale pattern. The scales are really small and tight. That's why they look so silver. And then, of course, the color in the mouth. You can see this guy's got lots of power. So these are perfect eating size, and we're going to be keeping a bunch of them. What are the limits on the smaller species, like the pinks and the sockeye? Um, pinks, you can catch four a day or eight for a whole trip. Sockeye, right now, same thing, four per day and eight Good. for a whole trip. Good. Well, that's great. Well, this is a that good eating size. That will vary throughout the season, though. That's about right. OK, we're going to put it in the box. We'll yeah. get the line set up, because we know there's a school of them in here, right? Yep. Beautiful. Right here at Sun's Lodge.